previously on Balls. All right, John, are you there? <laughs> I am. I'm very, I'm, you guys took so long. I got in my car. I'm on my way home. But don't worry, I'm not driving. No, that's good. All right. Uh, I was going to say, that would be pretty uh, pretty exciting. Now, the problem is, John, and uh, I know that when we spoke to Sean earlier also, it was um, like with me and him, it was almost like dumb and dumber trying to work on the Skype thing here because we're not technologically minded. Uh, but you have a thing called privacy settings on your – so you can't phone you back. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we try and dial you, it like throws it back at us, saying "bugger off, Scott." <laughs> See, <laughs> That's for me, eh, John? <laughs> no, two, th- uh, two things. Of course, they never ever give your details out to Darren or John. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice to have you back. On are you in the car there? Who's driving? I'm driving, but I'm not driving anywhere. This yeah. is. I'm only about to leave the. The stadium, so that's yeah. our club. That's our clubhouse. So that's where we. That's where we train. Yeah, it's so so England. Hey, gee, are you enjoying yeah. it out there, though? I mean, have you have you settled in there now? Is it uh, is it what yeah, you expected? It's been good. It has been good. I, I've been six months here, just over six months, and uh, the weather's actually been pretty easy for a winter. So this, this so-called spring with with a bit of rain is a bit painful, but um, it's been good. Well, you, uh, you have a call. Take it. You can take <laughs> it. We're fine. We'll just hang in there. <laughs> It's probably John. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Smitty. <laughs> Don't worry. He's done this before. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had a good time. The kids are enjoying schools. Uh, they fit in pretty well. Mrs. is happy. Uh, it's a nice little town. So Melbourne's is just outside of the, the M25. So it's about a 20-minute train into, into the centre of London. So it's close enough to be at a show and go for a dinner, but it's also further enough out to be a little bit quieter. So it's quite a nice little town. Well, okay, you you can just pass on to your club, by the way, that your Skype link in your car is way better than, than <laughs> the, awesome. the one in the club. I am now officially on 3G. There we go. John, Good old, try to take us home with him. Drive and see if we can make it all the way back to his can house. You, can you just leave it on, uh, can you maybe put it up there somewhere we can just follow you, follow you home? <laughs> I think it's illegal to talk on a cell phone, but I don't think it's illegal to Skype. Man. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You can just put it on the dashboard, and we can just uh, you can just drive drive uh, through the streets, and we can follow you, and you can give us a tour okay, of. Uh, okay, just wave, 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 wave. Take us I'll through the like streets a, of London. It'll be like a rally car. It'll be a rally car experience. <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't look like one of those ones going off the. Head. How far is it to home? Nice. It's, it's longer than you and I have got interesting things to talk about. Okay. So, this <laughs> is not, this, while you're doing that, this is not the first time you've, uh, you've done this, though. Obviously, you've, you've played overseas before. How different is it this time? Um, yeah, it's very different. I think France is, uh, was a completely different experience because language, uh, it's a completely different. As close as it is, it's very different to England. Um, it's very easy as African to fit into, into England and to London here. Obviously, at the club I'm at, there's 10 other South Africans with wives and kids and so you sort of feel like you've been part of this process for ages as well. So, um, I don't know, it's just been a lot easier. And I, I found in the, my third week in France, when I was in France, my daughter fell ill. We were at 3 o'clock in the morning trying to find a hospital that had a pediatric, pediatric, you know, pediatric se- section. And then when we found one, we had to find a doctor that speaks English. So that was pretty uh, challenging. So, yeah, everything's put on. It's a club. The club is unbelievably well organized. Um, you know, they've got a CEO that, like I've never seen before. Everyone's happy. There's so much that gets done for you. So, yeah, I, I've, I've got very little to complain about. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like, and, and you look like you're very relaxed and uh, and settled in there as well. I'm doing manual camera work now on you because apparently our uh, our other one isn't. No, it's fine. I'll hold it like this. Not a problem. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it looks like you're nice and settled. And, of course, uh, the extra pounds don't uh, don't do any harm either. Do you sort of wake up in the morning, look at the weather, and go, um, "That is that pound sign on the ceiling of your of your bedroom above your bed?" <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was true. Um, look, you know, I think the fortunate thing is that I'm still playing rugby. Uh, mm. I think most people will, will always think that any Southern Hemisphere player going over to to the Northern Hemisphere is going for money. But I can assure you, I'm earning way less than I've earned over the last couple of years. Right, how old are you now, John? Thirty-four. Last yeah. month. Oh, so you can become this new Springbok captain again? Yes, I'm just becoming old enough. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy birthday for last month as well. And uh, how long do you still see yourself? Uh, how long is your contract because you got left on this contract? Well, we're in the we're in the beginning of May, so I've got until June 2013. So another season after this. And then, uh, then back to Durban and just put the feet up, retire, and enjoy life. 
Yeah, everyone keeps asking what I'm going to do after rugby, and I keep saying as little as possible. I'm sure there's many fire, uh, many irons that are waiting to go into fires for uh, for you. I mean, you're not going to be hard up for work. Maybe you can become our. Uh, by this time, maybe we'll be in a nationally based station. You can do the balls from Durban. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's just an option. I'll keep you posted. I'm very good with music. I've I've been DJ a couple of times in the wee hours of the morning at some very interesting nightclubs. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> I could just imagine. <laughs> Jeez, John. Does the odd poker game get called up there as well? I have yet to play poker, but I didn't have a very good track record when I left Durban. So, um, you know, I've been backing a pair of twos for ages, and I just don't ever make any money. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I know you're sitting in the car there in the middle of a road next to me. You don't want to see some Bobby arrive there. And, hello, hello, what's going on here? Sitting Skyping in your car, they would think something else might be going on. So uh, we don't want to keep you there too long. But uh, I know we, uh, when we spoke to you last, we did a really nice long uh, interview with you about your life and stuff before the World Cup. And, uh, and, and obviously the, um, the, the John Smith month didn't quite happen for reasons we won't go into now. It's all been well documented. But um, we really feel that we, uh, we owe you one, Smitty. Yes. Uh, and and uh, who was your chosen, uh, your chosen cause back then, or your charity? Uh, I think it was the Live Foundation. Yeah, are you still involved with them? I am, buddy. I'm actually I'm launching my uh, foundation in June with this tribute game that I'm playing, and they will yes. be beneficiaries as well. All right. I have the details right here. Uh, in fact, there they are, uh, which was kindly sent to me by uh, the lady who is doing her job, Tanya. So, uh, and that is, um, well, you tell us about it. Have uh, you got the details there? Barney's Army. I love that logo, by the way. It's really cool. Thank you. Um yeah, it's uh, you know it was sort of it started off as an idea uh, for, with two two businessmen back home, um, Trevor Boynton and Terry Rosenberg, that mm. wanted to have a sort of a final game and uh, you know sort of a tribute game for, to say goodbye properly at Kings Park. At Kings Park. So uh, you know, I suppose it's quite humbling for me, but a nice opportunity just to be able to run out at Kings Park. I get you know we got TBWA to put together a sort of a, a branding around it, and they've come up with some amazing concepts uh, by creating Barney's Army, and I've uh, managed to get quite a cool team together as well. And the Sharks have come to the party and and uh, provided us with a game to be able to play against them because they've got strapped for a game in, in what I think is a five week period that they don't play rugby. So mm. with this all working out, we decided to you know start a foundation that could possibly carry on longer. Perhaps Barney's Army could carry on for a couple of years more. Um, and I wanted to help the Live Foundation, uh, Bobby Bear, which is also a KZN charity, mm. and uh, the Chris Berger, Petra Jackson, which obviously is close to every rugby player. So those will be the three that, that we start with. And hopefully through that, we'll also, you know, I know that with Monty and Vic and myself, we've put through uh, some kids at school as well. And hopefully this can help facilitate that in the future as well. All right. I see it's happening Tuesday, the 20th of June. There's a. Uh a magnificent event happening. Ian, Ian Mack is going to be hosting a a quiz, a game show. That should be yeah, interesting. That's the gala dinner. The gala dinner is on the 26th, which is in Santon. And, yeah. Uh, so we're going to have a pretty good evening there. The game's on the 22nd on the Friday before the last test against England. And then on the Tuesday, we'll get together and uh, Ian Mack will be at his uh, best. He's the, he's the coach of the team as well, Ian Mack. So okay. He's already... He's already trying to get me to have training sessions on every single day, and I told him to relax. <laughs> no, nothing changes, eh? Nothing changes. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, listen, what we uh, want to do, obviously, we'd love to be able to uh, maybe do our show from there that day, that afternoon. But uh, we don't need to do anything. We just uh, come there and do the show from there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, but yes. what, we, what we do want to do, John, uh, we will obviously be telling people about this, put the details up on our Facebook, Twitter, and every other form of media that we have to uh, let people know about it. We look forward to being there as well. Uh, but because we feel you owe you one from the last one and you're involved with so many of these good causes, and what we want to do for the, for the, uh, the foundation that you are setting up, um, I don't know if it's a start, but it'll be one of the early ones as well, through our Wings of Change, which is a new thing we're doing here at Balls Visual Radio, um, where we're getting guys like Ashwin and Brayton and those guys involved and getting our wings out there to help people that need, need help as well. Uh, so I know we did want to get some money into that 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 uh, that fund of yours last year. So what, let's do it now, Nicole. Should we? We should. I'm a I South definitely Af- think so. I'm a South African, Nicole Flint, who's joined us on the radio station here. You can't see her there. She is there actually. Oh, you look a little, you little bit up. Her. Yeah. Uh, she'll be doing bikini <laughs> weather later on for us as well. So if you get home quickly and get online to balls. That's it. That's it. Well, to watch it. It's okay, John. Don't worry about uh, it. So. But uh, how much should we? How much should we put into the uh, into the into Barney's uh, into his uh, trust into that fund? Say it. I think fifteen. 
No, come on. More. More? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 20,000. I go go more. More? Let's go 30. Oh, my word. Can the wings oh, put in 30,000 30, just to give a little bit age. of a hips to it? Yeah, 34,000 for your for age. For your age. Oh, a grand favorite. Yeah, cheapest. Okay. Yeah, I should, I, it's the first time in my career where being old is paid off. <laughs> 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 Yay. Just, hey, listen. That's awesome. Just as well we weren't interviewing Mac now, otherwise we'd be bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> But Barney, oh, there we go. That's an unbelievable start. I appreciate it. Awesome stuff. Well, we cool. really feel that we do owe you for last year, so we didn't want to just leave it there. So 34,000 Rand, Wings of Change, we'll be putting that into your uh, into your account. We'll get the details and uh, get it in there. We look forward to uh, following you in your travels over there. Let us know when something interesting is happening. We are visual and radio as well, so uh, we, we like to stay in touch with our, our heroes overseas. Brilliant. Yeah, we will do it. It's exciting times. We've got three games left. So we've got our last season game this weekend, and then it's uh, semi-final and final times. Uh, things are heating up pretty much, yeah? Yeah, well, good luck for all of that. And next time, maybe we'll talk a little bit more rugby. It's been, uh, it's been nice to catch up on some other things. Simon's got one final okay. one quickly. Okay, well, yeah, we've got to, we're running out of time. So well, we're we already, uh, but it's fine. Okay. Talking to okay. it's cool. I wanted to ask John his thoughts on Springbok captaincy. I mean, we're talking about it here. There's... You know, it's been bandied about that John de Villiers is, looks like he's going to take over. Who would, who does John think would be a good person to take over? Uh, it is, uh, it is, it has become quite a contentious issue. I suppose uh, so much uh, interest about it. I think it, it's a difficult thing for a new coach to do because you know, Hanukkah's probably would like to have some time to be able to settle in and see who he'd work best with. Um, a huge amount of interest over Victor as well, who I think would make it would do a good job, but. Uh, just delaying the inevitable in terms of who's going to take the team over the next couple of years. Look, they, they are the guys that can do it. Scott Berger is a guy who's kept well. He, we've seen the captaincy at the Storm has also been good for him as a rugby player as well. So, Jean de Villiers in Skulk's absence has been good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I suppose Pierre's still a bit green because it's his first season, but he's got potential as well. Uh, uh, you know, and then I suppose the, the other guy with huge amount of uh, potential and, uh, and unfortunately, I suppose, with the same um, uh, will create a same problem for Hanke as Peter had is a guy like Andrew Strath. Don't He's upset a, Bismarck uh, again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, not allowed to say that in case we upset too many people. But, you know, there are candidates out there, and I think it'll take, I guess, some time. I, and I, if I could, if, if hopefully all the rugby media are listening, and they can just give Hanke a bit of time, but it yeah. seems to be such an important issue. He's got bigger fish to fry for now. Yeah, all right. Well, we uh, we look look forward to another time where we can actually chat some rugby too. He's sitting in the middle of a road, so very quickly. Uh, the last thing we need to do uh, is just quickly throw the games at you. See if you're following Super Rugby. You just tell us which way it's going to go, Simon. Okay. Hurricanes Blues. Hurricanes. Rebels Bulls. Bulls. Chiefs Lions. Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> you almost signed for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could have turned things around for them, Darren. You know. <laughs> I know, John. I know. Bra- Brumby's Tars. Uh, Brumby's Tars. Where's it been playing? Canberra. Canberra. Brumby's. Brumby's, yeah. Sharks, Highlanders. Oh, oh come on. In Durban. Uh, are we going? Uh, if I get some money call, I'm going to go Highlanders. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Cheetah's Force in Blum. Sorry, to say that again? Cheetahs. Cheetahs, okay. okay. Last one, Crusaders Reds in Christchurch. Crusaders. Crusaders. Okay. Who gave the predictions yesterday? Uh, Jean. Jean. No, no, no Jean did last week. Last week. I'm Some of the predictions yesterday, and they went. Uh, they actually picked the, the Sharks to win that game. It is an interesting one. Uh, Highlanders are good. They're traveling well. They beat the Cheetahs. So uh, we'll see how it all goes, and we'll replay those on Monday. That's the thing. The Highlanders... Um Stole a win last week. They got really lucky, but that will be way too much positive energy. They would have been getting some sleep. They'll be pumped for this weekend, and they're playing good rugby as well. So it'll be a tough game, but I think that that sneaking a win like that in Bloemfontein, mm. where they hate being, and now spending a weekend when they're going to have too much energy. All right, there we go. That's from the uh, the former box skipper, Nart Saris. Good luck for the rest of the season there, John. Nice nice to chat with uh, chat with you, right. and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, getting us back or getting back online with us so that we could finish up our chat. Let you go home now and send love to Rocks and the family. Take care, John. Well, hopefully, my prediction about the Sharks is wrong. I really <laughs> hope so, but I doubt it. All right, boss. <laughs> nice to chat. To you drive safe. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Bye. John. Bye. 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 Live on Ball 
Balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.